So we've been using this watering system for quite some time now, and uh, we decided to reinstall it in our, our new garden. The cool thing about these watering pipes is you have the options of having them face up, direct them one way if we're only going to use one side of the bed, or we could point them down and water at just ground level. And also you can control the flow from the T. The tricky part was drilling the holes in this pipe. So I thought I would do a video showing how we drilled the holes. We need to draw straight lines on the watering sprinkling pipes. And to do that, I'm gonna make a jig out of a piece of scrap two by four. And we need to make a notch that the pipe will slide into. I have a three quarter inch socket. Draw a couple of curves on there just to get the outside edges of the of the pipe. Then I'm going to take the a T and go straight from there. So to notch this out, I want to cut it as deep as the pipe. So. Make your two cuts about the same length, or depth, actually. So to knock that little plug out of there, take a, a chisel. If you don't have a chisel, use a uh, screwdriver works. So now there's a, a notch, which fits the pipe quite snugly. Now we need to drill a pencil size hole right down the middle so the pencil will pencil will come out in here, inside the notch. Put you there and it will come out there. Put that on there. Hold your pencil down. We've made a line. And then for your side sprayers, to make your side sprayers you want to offset this by 45 degrees right at the bottom of that M. So what I want to do is face that up and I'm going to put this on that mark and then you would offset it the other way or if you want that way you'd still have, end up with the same thing but just do another line at, the, at a 45 degree and then when all your lines are on you come back and we'll mark it off every four inches and then everywhere these lines intersect, drill yourself a number 57 hole. These uh, three quarter inch pipes just slide into your T. No fittings necessary, you just slide that in there. Come down to the other end, just throw a cap on the end. It's another slip, three quarter inch slip cap. If you get a lot of junk in there, you can blow it out. You don't have to glue it? Do not glue it. If you're running that much pressure through there, it's blowing the caps off. Probably got too much water pressure. <laughs> to hold it in place, I just took some blocks, pounded a little, a couple of nails in, and we set that right there so that just locks that into place.